up, what's up, family? This is your girl, Coach T, a.k.a. Doc T. Man, y'all know what that is? What is today? It's Foodie Friday. I'm so excited. It's Foodie Friday, all right? Uh, last week, y'all know I was out of town. I couldn't come to y'all with Foodie Friday, but this week, I'm back at home we are about to cook and have a good time. So, y'all know the season, right? It's springtime, and you go to the store, and guess who's out in the front? <clears throat> them Girl Scouts with them cookies that are bad, right? <clears throat> and you'd be so tempted. Them Girl Scout cookies. You're like, man, I'm doing it for a good cause, but <clears throat> don't do it, okay? So what I decided to do, since I've just been seeing Girl Scouts everywhere I go, is to make some cookies. But we're going to make some protein cookies today. So the healthier version. Get into it. Uh, so <laughs> uh, but I'm super excited about Foodie Friday. So I've already preheated the oven. You, you guys know I come prepared. Preheated the oven to 350. Um. Uh, I already got my pan all, all greased up, so ready to go. So we're going to make some peanut butter cookies, okay? Uh, this is going to be so much fun. So what I forgot is my spoon. I got to get that. Stirred up. So, what I got in my bowl is I have the cookies and cream protein, uh, two scoops, two scoops of the protein baking mix. So, two, two scoops of that, and I have peanut butter. Now, I do not use Jiffy or I don't use creamy peanut butter, I use powdered peanut butter. So, but I have. PB Fit chocolate peanut butter. So we're going to make some chocolate peanut butter cookies today. Get into it. Um, so this is all in my bowl. And we just add an egg to the mix. I use egg lands. Here you go. Crack that open. Put that in there. And we add three egg whites. So, cage-free egg whites. Let me get a spoon. So, got my little tablespoon here. Putting the egg whites in. So because I have a powder and it's not the creamy peanut butter, I'm just going to add a little bit of almond milk just to get it that right thickness and consistency for the cookies. So I just added like a, a quarter cup. But if you have creamy peanut butter at home, you don't need to add almond milk. So we're just stirring this up. Trying to get the right consistency, the right thickness. Oh, and I also added a little bit of stevia, you know, just for that, that sweetness of the cookie. So, just stirring this up, getting it the right consistency, making sure the egg gets stirred up in there. Eggs, rather. And then all the powder Let's start up in there. Oops. A little thick, but it's gonna be good. It makes t 10 to 12 cookies per batch. So 
you can have these for like a pre-workout. If you're going to the gym and you're going to be lifting weights, you can have, you know, one or two cookies as a pre-workout snack. Or even after the gym, you know, you need a you need a post-workout recovery snack, post-muscle recovery. You can have a couple cookies after uh, you've been lifting weights, after you come from the gym. So I have it the right consistency. Let me see if I can let y'all see this real quick. Boom. So we're going to put it in the pan. I'm over to my trusty pan here. <clears throat> Letting the sunshine in. So I got my little, I don't have an ice cream scooper, unfortunately. So I use my little tablespoon and you just roll it. Kind of roll it in a little ball. Pop it in your pan. Because you're going to flatten them out. You're going to flatten them out with the fork. So you can make the little, you know, the little fork ridges for that the peanut butter cookies have. I could do this better with my spatula. So I'm going to go get my spatula. Because the spoon is not doing me any justice right now. So you want to make sure you have enough dough for each cookie. For those of you just chiming in, it is Foodie Friday. We are making peanut butter cookies the healthy way. So as you know, um, I don't believe in restrictions. I, be, I believe in modifications. You can modify anything. You can eat your favorite food, but you can make it the healthy way with a twist, and it still tastes amazing. So, that's what I that's what I believe. That's how I do my coaching, and my clients get results. And they get lasting results because they don't feel deprived. So we got these cookies going on the pan right now. Getting the right right consistency. They look like they're gonna be delicious already. So you want to make sure you spread them out, you know, because you're going to flatten them out on your pan here. So you want to make sure you get enough room in between each one so you can flatten it out. Like I said, it makes about 10 to 12 cookies per batch. And this is great, like these are great for pre-workout snack. If you're going to go lift weights, you know you need some protein before you go lift weights. <clears throat> Eat a couple cookies before uh, and you don't feel like you're cheating or anything. Or, you know, uh, post-workout recovery 
snack, post muscle recovery snack, because it has protein in it, and you need protein after you lift weights. Or, you know, you could just be burning at midnight. Oh, maybe you're in school, maybe you're in college, um, and you need <laughs> you need something to munch on. This is a healthy cookie to munch on, okay? So you don't feel guilty and you don't get that groggy feeling in the morning like you ate too much sugar. Or you just want a snack. Or you just want a cookie. There it is. I'm just going to have to put this with a different one. So I have made... 10 cookies with my my batch here so i'm just gonna add put a little water on the fork because i'm gonna flatten these out to let it stick to the fork. Try to make the little ridges. Don't, you know, guys, don't worry about the shape. They may not be perfectly round as long as they taste good. Okay? That's all it is. Put a little water on my fork again. You can flatten them out yourself with a little, put a little water on your hand to flatten them out. Put a little water on the fork to get the ridges that are going to be on the cookie. Look. It's looking good. For those of just, you just chiming in, we are making some healthy protein peanut butter cookies. Because I'm tired of <laughs> going to the store and seeing the Girl Scout cookies. Okay, so I need to make my own that are a healthy version. And we're about to get into this. Trying to separate them as much as I can. Alright. We got one more to get together. Pat down. Get the ridges in. Like I said, the shape might may not be what you want it to be, but hey, as long as they taste good. That's the key. All right. So put this in the oven, 10 to 12 minutes. And so I'm going to come back to y'all with the finished product. I'm going to put it in my story, so watch out for that. Um... But, you know, healthy cookies in a healthier way, you ain't got to buy Girl Scout cookies this year, okay? 
You know how many boxes you <laughs> you be buying uh, of Girl Scout Girl Scout cookies, and the boxes just be staying in the in the cabinet for like a year. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. So you can make your own healthier version of a cookie. So putting these in the oven. I'm gonna come back to y'all with the finished product. Happy Friday. See y'all later. Peace.